Pandora's players had to come out due to hypothermia, <coughs> had to actually come out of the game. We don't I, want to I talk about what, the game. We did well, it extensively yesterday. Yeah, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not interested in talking about the game. Because Let's it, talk about those because conditions. Because it wasn't much of a game. It never was going to yeah. be much of a game because Honduras are a poor side. <coughs> you know, I, I'm nothing against Greg Berhart or I don't, don't know the guy. But to talk about a cold snap came through, it's Minnesota. Yeah. And Jan, end of well, the idea that game. it was supposed to be low 20s as opposed to zero, which it's still going to be cold either way. But I, I there's just, a difference between my, the two. My opinion on this doesn't change. That this whole scenario has turned into a, a bit of a circus by trying to take games. And he's saying you go to these countries and the temperature is hot and humid and different. That's un we've all done that. That's the temperature in that country. You can't change that. What you can do is at least take it here in this country, because you have so many options, to a much better standard. Not, not anything against Minnesotans, but it's not the time of year to go up there and play. There are better places in this country, better platforms in this country, better stadiums and climates at this time of year to go and say, and this is my point, you'll be Say to yourself, we're proud about our team. We think we're a good team. You may disagree or not, or people have their opinion. But we just go, and I repeat this, you give yourself the best platform. I don't think the US needs to lower itself into taking teams to places where they think they have an advantage. The advantage, my sporting thing in this, the advantage should be on the park. Right. I don't like that idea of trying to take people to cold places because that's better for us right. to win. And that even but, your own players don't play in right yeah, I mean, when I've true. When I've flicked on the game and I'm seeing players right. playing with this... Look, it was extreme, no question about it. Um, but the, the thing where, you know, having to play <coughs> uh, in environments in my own country where... Craig, you're not going and playing an international at Hamden and being the away team, ever against any team. As an American, you can play. You could play 40 countries in the, in the metro New York area and the US will be the away team in that game. And it's something that us as players always felt. What could the Federation do better for us to put us in environments where we have an unequivocal home field advantage? Now, we all thought going into Columbus and Minnesota in this game that the weather could be a, a significant contributing factor, but not only for success, but also to hamper the U.S. team because it will be so cold that it will make things difficult. In the end, the U.S. scheduled two games in difficult conditions. They got six points in those two home games, and they have a very good chance of qualifying for the World Cup. So, job You're done. You're okay with that. Job done. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis, and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.